It's an uh, ink by George Orr from the 1800s, and they called him the Madman Ink Potter. And he used to get the Indians to come down and get the clay for him out of Biloxi, Mississippi. So how did you acquire this ink well? We belong to the Gulf Coast Bottle and Jar Club and this young man brought it to the show one day. And we begged him, and it took about two, two and a half years till finally he put a price on it, and we bought it. This belonged to your husband and you? Yes, we were ink collectors. We had, oh, about 120 now. Ink wells? Or before he passed, yeah. Ah. Uh, why did you collect ink wells? What appealed to you about Well, they them? were so pretty. But I started collecting a little different before we got involved in the inks, uh -huh. miniature whiskeys. Uh -huh. mm. She liked so, whiskey too. Oh yes. So you did you write with a um, a fountain pen? Yes. While you were drinking whiskey? Yes. Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cause no, not really. And what did you pay for this? Four hundred. Four hundred dollars. What would you like me to tell you about this? Aside from the value, we'll get to, of course. That I paid a good price. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, your information is mostly correct. It is George Orr from Biloxi, the Mad Potter of Biloxi, yeah. as he was known. He's known as many things, but the Mad Potter of Biloxi was certainly one of them. I'm not sure about the Indians coming down and digging mud for him. He, he was he was known for digging his own clay, and I believe the river is called the Chuticaboof. For wow. a northerner, I've been corrected a few times, but I think it was the <laughs> Chuticaboof River, and there were stories of George Orr with a wheelbarrow digging mud from the river and going through town with his Popeye arms and his long mustache bringing the raw clay back to his pottery. And his old wild hair just a blowing. Exactly right. Very colorful character and quite famous. There's actually a, a museum, the George Orr Museum designed by Frank Geary commemorating uh, the work ah. of a true American genius. Uh, he made a lot of things. He was primarily known for the pottery vases and bowls and pictures that he made. His work was so weird that most people didn't like them enough to want to buy him, and he was so weird that most people that wanted to buy him, he wouldn't sell to him anyway. So George Orr was always short on cash, and he sold what he called gym cracks and gigaws, and wow. by that he meant novelty items, and he made a number of different inkwells. If you look on the bottom, we'll see the die stamped George Orr designation. I saw one of these sell recently at auction without any glaze at all for somewhere between $500 and $700. Obviously better, prettier, more valuable with a glaze on this one. I think today at auction, the value is somewhere between $1,500 and $2,000. Oh, that's great. These. Thank you so much.